You can now execute that brilliant idea you had. There should be just enough frosting on the fake arms to serve as an adequate adhesive. John, attach arms to doll. <laughs> you don't care what Colonel Sasker says. That makes it at least a million percent funnier. John, inspect burnt paper on the floor. Brablerow! You put this back in the fire where it belongs. John, throw present wrap in fire. As long as you're cleaning up. John, capture log doll. You can carry hefty items, but that thing is just way too big. Get real. Besides, you don't even want it. John, read Colonel Sasker's text. The Creepy Crawlies. Hell's bells, we are having a mighty sporting time of it. Hold fast, my intrepid fellow pranksmiths. We've merely nicked the mahogany of our japing chests. If I may direct the incisive ogle of your beagle puss to the wriggling regency of rubber bugs, plastic parasites, squirming serpents, playable pests, and every such order and filer of creepy cruelly, land sakes alive, we are cooking with petrol now. In further exhibits, we should dwell on the artifice useful to your exploits. Is your pappy's rod and reel handy? What about a bit of iron cord? It shouldn't prove elusive. Bring those writhing rascals to life, and set the nerves of some old maid to the wreck of Hesperus. Do you have a bothersome aunt who never seems troubled to find ways with your sunny afternoons? A broad splintery fence? A bucket of whitewash, perhaps? By gum, you'll fix her wagon. And what of that tawny gent who puts his lackadaisical lean near the Sasa Perilla font? You have that listless octoroon fiver spring in his step just yet. You thought about consulting the text to determine exactly how hilarious the doll is now. But this text is way too big to navigate in a timely fashion. You decide to forget it. John, find Dad and retrieve mail. The door on the left leads to the kitchen, from which the smell of baking wafts. A powerful aroma which could lift an especially portly hobo off his feet. The door on the right leads to the study, where your dad spends a lot of time. He could be in either room. Where will you go? John, go in the study. It doesn't look like he's in here right now. John, examine father's desk. On the desk is a deck of playing cards. One of your dad's pipes. The April issue of the Serious Jester magazine. And a stray capture log card. There's also a can of peanuts on his desk. <laughs> oh dad, you won't be falling for that one again anytime soon. A severe peanut allergy is a terrible affliction to cope with. John, upgrade costume with hat from Hat Rack. You swap the magician's hat with the bowler hat. This disguise is somewhat less funny, but a lot more distinguished looking. John, combine second pipe with clever disguise. Your dad maintains numerous pipes around the household. A father without a pipe is like a strapping roughneck without a toothpick. That is to say, he is a rather piss poor excuse for a roughneck if you ask me. You'd rather not take the pipe though. The first one tastes bad enough as it is. How you suffer for your comedy. John, examine capture log card. Yes, this will be perfect for expanding the space in your cella. John, capture log, capture log card. <sighs> John, play haunting piano refrain. John, play 52 Pickup. You play the prankster's favorite card game, even though you are alone in the room, thus rendering it an especially foolish version of Solitaire. So stupid! Look at this mess! The peanut gallery over there sure is getting a kick out of it. You are allergic to their scorn. John, attempt to leave the house. <laughs> 